Hi there, Massimo from the Blue Root team. And today I want to talk a little bit about a feature that honestly I've been waiting for for years. And it has been out for a little while, but not many people know about it. It's called the Sandbox. And so basically it is what you think and you can see it on your screen that basically you can do whatever you want with Zoho in a controlled environment that does not affect your users. Prior to this, and I've been working with Zoho for about six years, uh, you would have to code in a live environment or write workflows, et cetera, and it was very challenging. So I would encourage anyone to turn this on, even if you're a one user account. And so to do that, you're gonna hit settings, and then you're gonna scroll down to sandbox, and then you're gonna create new sandbox. So you have to name it something, so I'm gonna name it test environment. Oops, caps lock is on, test environment. And you have to say who it's accessible to. So you have to choose individual users so you can control this. In this example, we only have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. So this will take a couple minutes to create depending on how large your database is. So I'm actually gonna pause this video and restart it when it's done. So once your sandbox is done, you'll see a page like this. You'll also receive an email notification. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit go to sandbox. So now I'm in this sandbox and you'll know you're in here because there is a little ribbon in the top of your screen that says sandbox. So what the sandbox actually does is it copies every field and every workflow and every function into a test environment. The only thing it does not copy is data. So you'll see here there, there is no data in the contacts or the accounts. So let's go ahead and hit setup and you can see there's a bunch of actions. Everything we think and have known is back here. So if I go to workflows, all the workflows I had in the other module, or sorry, in the live environment are here. And so let me show you something here. Obviously you can make changes back here. You can create new workflows, you can run them just like you would, you can create new contacts, and then run the workflow on the contact. So everything is made as a test environment. Now let's say I go through here and I create a new module or a new field inside of the contact. And so let's just say I'm testing some stuff and I end up finding out that this checkbox, we really need it in the live environment. So I test it out, I like it. And so I'm gonna keep it here, I'm gonna hit save. Now, this is saved in the sandbox, not in the live environment. And I'll show you how to release that soon. Now let's say I go back here and I go to workflows and I'm gonna create a new workflow. And I just wanna um, workflow. All right, and I'm gonna make a new workflow and I'm basically gonna say, and these are in our other videos on how to create these, but um, I'm actually going to find that new field. What did I call it? Need to have, here it is. And now I'm just gonna say when need to have is selected, I don't know, uh, give a task, All right? So all I'm showing you here is how to, what I'm trying to show you here is that you can actually create a workflow. You can actually create new fields all in a test environment. You can then test them. So now I'm gonna create a contact. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna check this box. And now what should happen is there should be a task here because I just wrote a workflow that would essentially trigger a task when that box is checked. So there's the workflow. So I test it out, I like it, it works. Now, the big question, how do I get it back into the live environment? So when you go back to the Sandbox homepage, you refresh your page here, and what you'll see is everything I've just done and saved is here. So you can see need to have a new field in contacts is here, right? The layout has been updated. So it, it basically the field has been created and the layout has been updated a task has been created and a workflow has been created, right? So I could check this box whenever I'm ready, maybe after hours or whatever, and I hit deploy changes. What this basically does is it says, will this affect anything in the live environment? If not, proceed. And you do have to wait a little bit because it is updating the database, but this is essentially how the sandbox would work. So you can now add new fields, add new layouts, um, even add new functions and test them. So if you're uh, familiar with Deluge or other languages, you can write functions back here. And when you're ready, you can release it to the live environment. This does take a few minutes sometimes. 
I appreciate you watching this video and happy sandboxing. Cheers.